Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Oh, this is too cool! Alright, I might have a new number one creation in Stormworks. I am a sucker for anything Star Wars. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue, and yes folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with a brand new update. So they have added a new island and a couple new missions here to Stormworks, so we're going to check that out first, but we're going to be checking out that mission with something that I think you guys are going to really, really enjoy here. So. If you have any suggestions for Stormworks, comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. Uh, we do have multiplayer coming. Uh, it might even be coming tomorrow or the next day, I believe. So yeah, we'll be doing that. And if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's do this. All right, folks. We have something that is near and dear to my heart. There is a actual Millennium Falcon here in Stormworks. This looks amazing. Plus, I believe this thing is functional. Oh my, this might be the most beautiful slash laggy thing that I've ever seen here in Stormworks. Oh no, this is too cool. Oh, I love Star Wars. All right, first, let's go to the mission screen real quick and we're gonna spawn the mission we need to go on. All right, so they have added a new island here to Stormworks. We go to the research center, and there's an observatory now, and apparently there is a fire mission there. There should be one more. I don't know which one it is, but I know this one for sure should be the island, so we're going to click that, and let's go ahead and highlight it real quick. I'm actually really curious as to what this looks like. All right, so the objective is 5.4 kilometers out. Let's see how this thing works. Isn't the hatch for this... Okay, so it's going to come out the side, is it not? Uh, oh. There we go. Let's climb up in it. Uh, there's your creators there. Bot Fraser and I am... Is that Doritos? I believe this says Doritos. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so let's close this up. I really want to explore this. I probably shouldn't have spawned the mission yet. Let's uh, see. Cargo room and engine room. Well, I guess we should go ahead and go in here. And This is amazing. Like, I'm going to have so much fun with this. Uh, let's turn on the lights here. Do we need a fire? Okay, it's engine room. Actually, those are already on. Uh, here's a keypad over here. I like clicking keypad stuff. There's an elevator. Where does that go? Hold on. Where is that? Oh, wait, what? Where does this... Oh, this is like the cargo area. So you would load up your cargo. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, what is this over here? Tubular combustion chamber. Okay. Airflow, hyper, intercool, activated. Look at this little control panel. Throttle. Do we control it from here? Key buttons. Are these dead buttons or should we be firing these things up? Oh, we're going to look at our flashing lights here. Let's go ahead and have that fired. Uh, I don't know what any of these mean. Okay. All these. I think a lot of this is for show. All right. So let's keep moving here. We've got more lights, I'm assuming. There we go. Ah, here's a little table area where uh, they play... I forgot what the, the name of the game is. It looks like a virtual chess. Uh, there's that. Okay, so let's keep wandering around here. I'm actually a little bit lost now. I think this is going to take us... Okay, that, I believe that's going to take us to the, uh, the cockpit. There's the main door. Okay, I know where we are now. All right, so there's another hatch. Probably get to the top. Is there anything around here uh, before we fire this bad boy up? It's just more lighting, it seems like, and the hall that goes around. Okay, I think we are about ready. Oh, is this the... Wait, is this where the kitchen is? I have a little kitchen. Huh, that's neat. Oh, and there's a living quarters. So yeah, you've got everything you actually need to uh, go out, do missions. I guess we could put the... I don't know if there's an actual medical base somewhere, but it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and just get moving here. Uh, we need to get this thing off the ground. Hopefully it stops the lag and... Oh, yes. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so I play with many Millennium Falcon creations uh, in different games from Scrap Mechanic. I think Brick Rigs we had one, but this is a first for me here in Stormworks. I've never played with a uh, Star Wars creation. All right, so pilot seat. Let's get into here. Okay, ignition. All right, let's go ahead and turn that on. Ooh, this is a loud one. Radar swivel. Okay, so we can actually turn the radars there. Is this, uh, should we be in the right side? No, it's left side. 
Okay, so there's not really any controls listed here. Oh, look at that beast! That's too cool. All right, let's uh, slowly let's go forward. Are the landing gear are those going to come up? I wonder if they're on like a sensor or something. Possibly. Oh yeah, that lag's getting a whole lot better now. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's start to lift here. Oh, buddy. Oh, there they go. Oh, this is too cool. All right, I might have a new number one creation in Stormworks. I am a sucker for anything Star Wars. Uh, by the way, we're also going to be checking out an X-Wing fighter, too, so uh, stay tuned for that. We're going to go put this, or we're going to attempt to put this fire out. I do want to check out the new island. That's one thing we're going to do. We're going to land and go check it out, but I also wanted to go there in style. This is so cool. See my little character in there? Millennium Falcon. I wonder, can we move that gun? Can we move the big turret on the top? There should be... I thought there was a bottom turret that came out. I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, because at one point you had Luke was on one turret and Han was on another. And, oh man, look at the little damage marks and stuff like that on the top. That is so detailed. All right, I can already see our new islands in view. It's got a pretty decent little cockpit area here. There's the observatory right below us. We're going to start to drop altitude here. Now, this thing has water cannons. I don't know how they work. Is that what's on? No, that's not water cannons on top. Where are they at? Looking. Is that one right there on the side? Is that a water cannon? I don't know. It says it has water or firefighting capabilities. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, we're going to get down low here. Uh, oh, look, the turret's moving. Why is that moving? I'm not controlling that. All right. Here we go. New island. Let's go ahead and get low here. Okay, I see the water cannons now. They're on the side of the turret. The turret obviously moves. So there is a gunner position, I believe, somewhere to make this work. So let's go ahead and get down. Oh, there's injured scientists down here too? Are you kidding me? Oh, this looks cool. All right, we're going to get this thing to... Okay, there's radar pitch and swivels right there. We need to get this thing to stabilize, which I think it's done that. Now, question is... How do we work the gun? Oh boy, um, think, think, think. Uh, there's gotta be something around here somewhere. It's a button. The gun's position's right in the middle. Are we getting the glow of the fire in here? I believe we are actually. Hold on, gunner hatch, here we go. All right, so, oh, was that already open? No, it wasn't. All right, let's go ahead and get up into the gunner position. Got a crouch to get up into here. Okay, jump into this when you're stuck. Okay, where's the actual... Is that what we need to be in? Oh, here it is. Okay. Ah, we are in the gunner position. Okay. Does this, does this work? Okay, there's a fire button. That's, okay, that's for show. Okay, so we got the pitch up. We got the pitch down. AD. Drop the uh, water probe. Okay, we need to drop that. Okay, so let's go ahead. Hit four. Should be a probe coming up. Uh, was that supposed to be attached? I hope that's fine. I, I don't know. <laughs> Does it work now? Oh, it shoots water. Okay. We know where the gunner is. Uh, we need to... Hold on. We need to... Uh oh, we're stuck. Uh, they said something about this. Hold on. Get into that. There we go. Okay. We need to reposition the uh, Millennium Falcon real quick. That way I can actually put the fire out. But we know how that works now. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Cannons are hot. Uh, there they go. Okay. They're, they are spraying. I'm a little weirded out by that nozzle. Or where you drop the probe and... Oh, that's going out quick. Okay. Top of the fire is out. Can we reach the other... We might need to actually reposition one more time. We're hitting around it, huh? Let's keep hitting in this area. It looks like it's actually putting it out. Oh, let's go right about there. Come on. Keep it hitting it. My... Okay, the second little ball of fire or the middle part's out. Can we hit the far end from here? Uh, it's questionable. I'm trying to hit it. Come on. Keep working the fire here. Oh, I think we are clipping it. All right, in position. Let's go ahead and put this last bit out. Come on. Okay, that one's out. Oh, I don't know if we can go low enough to catch this last spot. Hold on. Let's get right over it here. Ah. Oh, yeah, we're catching it. Okay, it's going out. There we go. Fire's extinguished. Okay, question is, are we in the right position? Can we, uh... Oh, let's get into here. Can we land it here, or... 
All right, we don't seem to be moving much, so we might be able to put it down here. Let's go and open up the side door real quick. See what we're faced with. Okay, so if I'm down here, uh, it's close. I, I don't want to make it to where I can't get back into this thing. All right, here we go. Going down, going down, and touchdown. There we go. All right, don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink on me. Okay, my hope is that it's holding itself up just above the water here. Uh, okay, looking good there. Uh, just for uh, safety precautions, I'm going to go ahead and drop the cargo ramp too, or the elevator. That way I have two options to get back up in this thing. Okay, let's go uh, check that island out. All right, here we are, new island. We got three people to save. You know, this thing looked a lot bigger from the, uh, they had a picture of it in the update. I could have swore this was a huge observatory. This actually isn't that big, so let's go ahead and go in. What are these other people standing out here? What, what, are, what are you guys? Well, we got some of the research equipment out and fire extinguishers. I thought there was two people standing up here. Did I knock one off with the Millennium Falcon? Huh. All right, good sirs, I'm here to rescue you. What does this place look like? You know, there's a military island. I think I mentioned this last, are you a scientist? Or are you just here? You don't look like a scientist. I think they're over there. I guess I don't get to save you. But yeah, there was a, uh, there's a military island somewhere around here too that I, I would like to show you guys one day. It looks awesome and, oh, here we go. Does this actually work? Hold on. Let's go ahead and close that real quick. Sorry for the lag. That Millennium Falcon is just a beast, and it does lag quite a bit. Uh, can we hit this button? Oh, you can actually open the doors up. You know, it would be really, really cool if we could use this. I don't think we can, but uh, that would be awesome at night. All right, Ding Dongs, you ready to uh, get on the Millennium Falcon? Oh, I guess that was a scientist in there, wasn't it? Oops. What kind of scientist wears an umbrella on their head? All right, go ahead and follow me, and let's get the heck off of this island. Uh, I guess we don't have to get that dude. Guess he's cool. Is there anything else to this island? Is there, like, what's that over there? Oh, there's a bunch of birds on the island, but that looks like it's about it. All right, folks, we're going to board the Millennium Falcon here. If you guys want to step around back, uh, might be able to put you guys on the elevator here. I don't think they're going to jump up into the main area, so... All right, everybody who's aboard, I want to welcome you guys to the uh, Millennium Falcon. If you could please uh, step to the side. All right, let's go ahead and go up here, and boom. All right, you guys make yourself at home. Please do not follow me to the front cabin. Uh, we will have you guys to the hospital island here shortly. Let's go ahead and close the side door here. There we go. That's awesome. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Ah, this thing handles like a dream. This is actually... Also a really effective rescue craft. I mean, it's basically got what you need. Uh, that water cannon, or that dual wa water cannon, I should say, is absolutely fantastic. Plus, the probe is a little weird. I've never seen a probe actually just fall out and not be attached to a hose. But I guess that's a thing. All right, here we go. We're about to land here. We actually have a proper uh, helipad to land on. This actually might be a little too big for it. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's go ahead and go down. Now, the question is, I don't know what the other mission is. I'm actually really curious. I'll have to look it up. Uh, but there should be one more mission with that observatory island. Uh, we're basically to the point where we're getting updates every week, folks. Uh, last update was actually an update to the editor, which I really probably should figure that out. Uh, it supposedly makes the uh, building a little bit easier. So, I don't know, maybe you guys would want to see me build something like a boat or something like that. Uh, but we'll probably check that out here shortly, but I just think it's neat that this game literally updates itself every week almost. And a lot of times it's actually pretty significant. Uh, very cool from the devs. Alright, here we go. About to touch down. Alright. Up, up, up. Oh, this might be a little messy. Come on. Nose, nose. Oh, we missed silent. Okay, it's okay, folks. All the people in the back are probably really rattled right now. It's fine. I got this. I got this. All right. And that should be it right there. There we go. We're going to call that a successful landing. That is a uh, it's close enough to the pad there. All right, let's go ahead and kill it. Woo! All right, time to drop them all off. Hello everybody. All right, everybody stay here. Nobody gets to follow me back and take any more free rides. Uh you get to stay in here too. Uh, umbrella lady. 
Okay, well, that is the Millennium Falcon. Now, we have one more Star Wars creation to check out here today, and it is the X-Wing Fighter. And I have a feeling it's going to be pretty awesome. I'm actually really excited. I'm hoping we see some more Star Wars creations here soon. All right, here we are. We've got the X-Wing Fighter here. Doesn't have the landing gear on it. At least I don't think it does. Is that landing gear? Possibly. Maybe it's not folded out. All right, let's go ahead and hop into it. It does appear to have water cannons, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is where... <laughs> is R2-D2 an engine? <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this open real quick. Hop into here. This uh, should have pretty much the same controls, I think. Let's see, fire. Oh, yeah, it does have a water probe. Wow. Okay, very, very useful. There's cockpit hatch, mode switch, there's cockpit lights, turn those on. Let's go ahead and close the hatch. Uh, hatch, so let's try it again. Oh, there it goes. Okay, ooh, I feel all uh, special in here. This is awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and go fire this up. Now, there's a mode switch on this one. I don't quite know what that means. Maybe that's the difference between the VTOL. Like the straight up and down and maybe like more of a, a jet mode, possibly? But I'm not 100% sure here. Uh, that is... Oh, that is sweet looking. Alright, let's go ahead. Okay, that is... Yeah, this is uh, pretty much like the Millennium Falcon, control-wise. Now, question is, do the... Oh, actually, the mode switch. Oh, please tell me that actually extends the, uh, extends the wings out. Let's go mode switch. Oh, yes! That's what that is. It's not a change in control scheme, it just actually puts it into... I guess that was like a, more of the attack mode. Now, question is, if I come down now, will that front... I mean, I think that's landing gear at the front. Will that pop out now, maybe? Uh, I don't think... Of course, the X-Wing doesn't land in this mode, but I was just trying to see if that was a thing. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's get moving here. Ooh, this is fast. Now, question is, how maneuverable is this? Uh, the only thing with the VTOL controls, I don't think you're going to be doing wild flips and stuff like that. I believe it's going to be, uh, it's going to be more stable and it's going to be easier to fly, but I don't think we're going to be having dogfights. Now, if we were to ever get some sort of weapons in, if we had weapons on this thing and maybe some sort of destruction physics, that would be really cool. Uh, of course, uh, we checked out a, uh, a creation last episode, which was actually a plane that you could blow apart. It didn't fly the greatest, which I think it was a... a Partly due, I'm going to say, to the game's physics, but it was awfully cool, and I was uh, was really excited to see that. But yeah, this is an awesome creation, too. Alright, let's go ahead and switch modes again. Does it change the way this thing handles? I don't believe it does. Okay, so what's the cockpit like when you're actually going around? This isn't too bad. Uh, the view's kind of constricted, but I don't care. It's Star Wars. It doesn't matter to me. But yeah, you could probably use this as a uh, another, I wouldn't say a rescue craft, but a, definitely a firefighting craft. Uh, which, by the way, let's go ahead and just at least look what that looks like. So we're going to hit four here. Let's make sure we're in the, over the water. Okay, hit four. It's going to drop the probe. That's a big probe. And sploosh. Where is it? There it is. Okay, just hit the water. So we go to fire. Ooh. Okay, that's got a pretty good stream to it. So really what it is, and I, I don't know if the other one was like this, the Millennium Falcon, it's two cannons pointed right through each other, so you get double stream, so it's like four cannons hitting the fire at once. I guess that's why it put out that fire so quick. I almost think that we could try to do one more fire, which I haven't even showed you guys, because it is just a tall task. Let me spawn in that mission real quick. Alright, so the Sky Power Company has two different fire missions. Uh, one was a wind turbine fire, which we've never done. It's just one of the little wind turbines that's out in the middle of the water. But then there's the wind farm distress call. Now, supposedly, this is a huge fire. So, I think if we're going to have a ship that's going to do it, or I shouldn't say ship, I mean, uh, craft, if we have one to do it, it's going to be this. All right, here it is, folks. This is another island that came out in an update that we never explored. But, yeah, it's a wind turbine island there's a lot of them on here and i'm pretty sure quite a bit of it is on fire i'm not mistaken this is the distress call i don't see the fire yet maybe it hasn't spawned uh, let's go ahead and switch into attack mode real quick that way we're ready to go fight these fires uh well this looks oh there it is there they are all right looks like we got three of the turbines are on fire the engineers uh down there do we need to talk to him first or 
Can we go straight into the firefighting? Uh, you know, we're gonna go straight. Oh, actually, I guess we need to go down to him first, so... Let's go down here and see what the heck's going on. That looks like a vehicle spawner or a workbench over there on the... I or, is it? I think that's what it is over there on the beach. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's go talk to the dude real quick, see what he wants. Hopefully he doesn't want to ride because uh, he's not getting one here. What is up, dude? Or girl? What can I do for you? Okay, locate the downed helicopter. What, did a helicopter run into this stuff? That's crazy. Alright, here we go. Let's start hitting the fires. Look how effective this thing is. That is crazy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, uh... Me and the firing, <laughs> we're having some issues. I kind of wish the uh, the fire button on here stuck on. That way you don't have to hold it down because I'm still having to control this craft a bit. There we go. Come on. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. There. No. There it goes. Okay, there's the bottom portion. Let's try not to get hit by the blade. Now it says there's a downed helicopter. Is it? Oh. Well, that thing that was on the island or the beach earlier, it's on fire now. I'm assuming that was our helicopter. Uh-oh. Oh, oh well, no, 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 we're gonna get hit by a blade. We're gonna get hit by a blade. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got this. Just keep hitting the fire. Oh, we're not good. Oh, we're about to die. Death by... Oh, we got hit by a blade. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Get control. Get control. No, X-wing down. Uh-oh, I think we broke it, folks. Oh, something's busted now. Oh, uh-oh. Come on, turn it off. Turn it off. It's still flipping. It's like it's trying to stabilize itself. Was there like a gyro in here that we knocked loose? Uh-oh, folks, I don't think we're doing this mission. Uh, Han, can we escape the cockpit hatch before we die? Han, hop out. No! There goes my X-Wing! Oh, man. Well, that stinks. Alright, well, I guess we should go uh, at least check out the down helicopter and just kind of stare at him because there's nothing else we could do here. I'm coming! Coming to save you. Not really, but... Uh, oh, there's the downed helicopter. And there's the crew. Uh, let's see if any of these people have umbrellas on their head. Hey, these people don't look ridiculous. They actually look like workers. Uh, what happened to your helicopter there, buddies? They look a little bit on fire. Oh, yeah. Ha! <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do here. This is actually really cool looking. Cool mission. Just too bad I couldn't actually uh, finish it. Because the X-Wing crashed or got hit by a uh, turbine. That's a thing. Well, I guess we're going to call it an episode here. Those two creations are absolutely amazing. I could really play with that Millennium Falcon a whole lot more. That is just so fun and so cool looking. Uh, we probably could have made just the episode on it. But X-Wing is also very excellent. I love Star Wars stuff. But yeah, uh, multiplayer should be returning here very soon. I want to thank you guys for all the love and support on Stormworks. Hope you guys have a great day. We will see you guys next time. Thank you.